I was that bold enough. But now I'm scared. I said, open your eyes. And look at this man. So everybody was praying. And uh, the translator, my translator was also touching him and praying. So we were, I was worshipping for a few minutes. And I went to, went to him. I laid my hands upon him. I said, I didn't know that he's a Muslim. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command you to get up. You know what he said? I can't get up. I thought, oh my God, what do I do now? I can't get up. But I was not embarrassed. I said, you can get up. You will get up. I was, I, I, I was holding the microphone. So everybody hear what I say. What he said, nobody hear. So again I said, now, get up. No, I can't get up. I said, you can get up. Get up now. No, I can't get up. I can't get up. Then I said, you know what I said? I was not embarrassed. I was on fire. I said, shut up. Get up now. And I pulled him up. You know what happened? He stood up. For the first time in two years, he stood up. Unbelief prevented him from, from standing up. Because he thought, I couldn't, I, 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 I couldn't even stand up for the last two years. So much programmed into his mind. So he said, no, no, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. But when I give him a push, when I commanded him, when I shouted at him and pulled him up, he stood up. Now the second phase of the miracle. Now he's standing like this one. I said, now, walk. I can't walk. I can't walk. He didn't, he didn't stand up. He, he, he couldn't stand up for the last two years. Now he stood up and he said, I can't, I can't walk. I said, you can walk. So we had a big argument. After a, few, after a little bit, I just gently pushed him. He was, he was, he was about to fall down, but the translator hold him from the other side. And then, after a few steps, the translator took his hands off. You know what happened? He's walking. <laughs> and he came back. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I'm an ordinary person. I'm just an ordinary. I'm a pastor, but I'm just an ordinary person. Very, 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 very ordinary. I can't walk. I can't make anybody walk. I know that. But the, the word, silver and gold have I none. But what I have, I give it unto you. Jesus is living in you. The Holy Spirit is inside in you. When we believe this, this wonderful fact, things will happen. And you need to step out. You need to step out into your miracle. You need to generate your own miracles. We, we, all the time, believers are praying, sitting inside the, in, the, in their closet and crying out, Lord, send the miracles, send the miracles, send the miracles. God is asking you, get out and create your own miracles. Because I'm with you. I am with you. Go into your impossibility. Go against the mountain that is facing you. Create your own miracles. You can do that. And then again, uh, another uh, two instances happened. Another lame, uh, lame person walked two years back. That was the first one in northern part of India when I reached there. That was the first time. So in my ministry, two person, two lame person walked up. He didn't walk. He di he couldn't stand up for the la uh, for the last twelve years. He stood up. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's not because that I'm somebody. No, I'm an ordinary person. You are an ordinary person. But it is possible with you and me. But we have somebody in us who is not ordinary. He is Jesus. He is Jesus. That name, that under that name, every demons, everything will bow down. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of that Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Hallelujah. We have been given the privilege of profusely abundantly use that name. How do you create your miracles? Now, now, in the now, you therefore arise. You therefore arise in the now, not tomorrow, not after the church service, not in the night. 
Oh, let me go tonight and all, oh, oh, and, and confess all my sins once again, and then day after tomorrow, Monday, I will arrive. No. Arise now. Arise now. This is our thought. Usually that is, we think in this way. Oh, let, I am not perfect. I am not that holy. I am not super. Oh, so I can't do it. I have some problem in me. I have some weakness within me. But that, confess it to the Lord. And then arise. Confess it to the Lord right now, wherever you are. And then arise. And then, again, come back to this uh, verse. Moses, my servant, is dead now. Therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give it to them, even to the children of Israel. Now, go into the land. The, my fourth point. Go into the land that I give it to the children of Israel. And again in verse 3. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said to Moses. Let me ask you a question. Did the Lord give them the land of Canaan at this time? At this time when he was talking. I'm asking you a question. I'm going to send a gift to whoever say that answer. Did, uh, the question is this one. At the time of this, to speaking this verse, did Lord give the land to the children of Israel? Nobody knows? Come on, hurry up. Be bold. Anybody? Yeah, not yet. Who, who is that? Who said? Okay. Give me your address or I will, I will send you an email. <laughs> I will send you a gift. Definitely. It's my word. Not yet. The land was not yet given. But it says, that, uh, uh, Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that, that have I given unto you. It's already given. It's contradictory. That is what God, the, the Lord is saying. I have given that land unto you. Now therefore arise and cross this land. I have not, they, they didn't even start to fight against their enemies. But God is saying, I have given that land unto you already. Now arise and go fight against these enemies. This is our case. Many mountains, at the face of many mountains and many impossibilities, we are sitting back and crying. And God is saying, I have given that already unto you. Now arise and go against that impossibility. Go against that mountain and fight against it. Then 